off its back to league action this weekend for Southampton under 18s. Anthony Limbrick's side faced Fulham at Mossburg Park on Saturday morning. The first half of the season ended with Saints occupying the bottom third of the table. But Limbrick says now is the time to refresh and his aim is to finish the playoff stage as high as possible. Uh, we do the debrief after each round a full debrief of the games and how we've played and what areas that we need to improve on. So yeah, we went over those games because it's important to, to debrief and see where you are and leading into these playoff games now, we want to finish as high as we can in that eight-team sort of mini league that they've got uh, going on. So yeah, we want to, we want to carry and, or, or start some, some better form leading into the, the end of the season. And you know quite a bit about a few of the teams in the playoffs. Yeah. Is finishing top the aim? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll try and finish, like I said, as high as we can. Um, we got Fulham this weekend and we know them well. Um, we played there at their place last time and the pitch was a, was, a, was a tough one to play on with the conditions and that sort of thing. So we'll know what we're going to get, so we'll be ready for that game. Do the players have the belief they can go to Fulham and, and win, having lost there a little while back? Yeah, definitely. I think that we realise it's probably two evenly matched teams. I mean, they finished in and around our area. Um, I think when we played them at home, we had a really a good performance and a, and a good victory at home. So, yeah, I think we owe them one for the, the performance that we had last game. We didn't perform well against them at, home, at their place. So we'll be looking to go there and yeah, and, and make up for that. Is it the view that these playoff games could help the season end on a high after perhaps what was a little bit disappointing in the league? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's so tight, the league, and in any league, you're, it's always going to be tight within one or two points and, and that sort of thing. But we just want to make sure we finish with good performances to get the players set up for the end of the season, for next season. And, and there's plenty to play for for these guys. They've got spots to play for with good under-21s games coming up. There's an under-21 final as well and good opportunity for the 16s to stake their mark in the 18s for next season as well. So I think every player who plays in the 18s now leading into these games has got something to prove and, and something to strive towards. One area Saints improved as the season grew old was their defensive record, led by goalkeeper Harry Eisted. He kept three clean sheets in the first half of the season and has set an aim to add even more to that total in the next seven playoff fixtures. As a player, what are you hoping for from these final seven games as, as an under-18? Um, to get as much game time as I can, definitely come to the end of the season because there's still competition from Jake and I want to keep as many clean sheets as I can. Because you did have that injury that gave Jake the chance, do you feel that's had to make you improve as a player with, with him giving you such good competition? Definitely, it means it, it pushes me to try and still retain my number one spot. So I want to keep doing that and not let him try. Well, not let him back inside, even though me and him are very good friends off and on the pitch. And it wasn't too well back that you did face Fulham. You know quite a bit about them. What can you expect? Um, we know they're a good attacking side, especially on the counter attack. Very quick. So we'll definitely learn from that and be ready to recover quickly. And we want to score more goals, like I said. So we'll be looking to be more clinical as well. We can't say that anyone's better than us and we can't think that anyone's better than us. It's definitely because we've got to have a, pen, a positive mentality going into it. You know quite a bit about a few of the teams in there, but some of them will be new as well. Is that a new experience for players? Um, last season we played some of the northern teams, but it'll be definitely good this season to get like different opportunities to play them, different experiences because they have different styles to the southern teams that we've played already.